Hello and welcome to another lecture on integrals. Today we shall be starting with some standard forms of integration and after that we are going to deal up with some numerical problems based on that standard forms of integration. So today the standard forms of integration that would be dealt are integration of 1 by x square plus minus a square with respect to x. After that we are going to perform the integration of 1 upon root of x square plus minus a square with respect to x again. After that we are going to perform the integration of the function which is 1 by root of x square minus x square with respect to x. Now starting with the standard form which is 1 by x square plus a square. Now this has to be integrated with respect to x. Now this can be simplified and rewritten as 1 by a square integral of 1 by 1 plus x square by a square with respect to x. Next we put x by a equal to t so that dx is equal to a dt. Now the given integral can be rewritten as 1 by a square integral of a dt 1 plus t square where t is the value of x by a and dt is equal to dx by a. This further simplifies into the form 1 by a 10 inverse t plus c which can be rewritten as 1 by a 10 inverse x by a plus c where t has been substituted as x by a. That's the integral of 1 by x square plus a square with respect to x is equal to 1 by a 10 inverse of x by a plus c where c is an arbitrary constant. Next we come to the integration of another standard form which is 1 by x square minus a square. Now we are supposed to integrate this term with respect to x. Now simplifying this term we can rewrite it as 1 by x minus a into x plus a integrating this function with respect to x is equal to the given standard form. Further simplification of this form gives us integral of 1 by 2a bracket x plus a minus x minus a bracket close the whole divided by x minus a into x plus a and this term is being integrated with respect to x. Now further simplification of this term gives us 1 by 2 bracket integral of 1 by x minus a with respect to x minus integral of 1 by x plus a with respect to x. On integration we have 1 by 2a bracket log of x minus a minus log of x plus a bracket closed plus c where c is an arbitrary constant and this can be further simplified as 1 by 2a into log of x minus a divided by x plus a plus c. That's the integral of the standard form which is 1 by x square minus a square dx is given as 1 by 2a log of x minus a divided by x plus a plus c. Next we are going to obtain the value of integral 1 by root x square plus a square with respect to x. Now for this we are going to x equal to a tan phi. This gives us dx is equal to a sec square phi d phi. Therefore the integral of dx by root of x square plus a square is equal to integral of 1 by root of a square 10 square phi plus a square into a sec square phi d phi. On simplification, this term reduces to the integral of sec phi d phi. And on integrating this term, we have log sec phi plus 10 phi, which further reduces to log of root of 1 plus 10 square phi plus 10 phi. And by substituting the value of 10 phi, we have this term equal to log of root of 1 plus x square by a square 
plus x by a. This on further simplification gives us log of x plus root of x square plus a square plus c. Next we are going to perform the integration of a standard form which is 1 by root of x square minus a square. Now this term is being integrated with respect to x. For this we are going to substitute x equal to a sec phi then dx is equal to a sec phi 10 phi d phi. Therefore integral of dx by root of x square minus a square can be written as integral of 1 by root of a square sec square phi minus a square into a sec phi 10 phi d phi. This reduces to integral of sec phi d phi which gives us a value of log sec phi plus 10 phi plus c1 where c1 is a constant which can be further reduced into the term which can be rewritten as log of sec phi plus root of sec square phi minus 1 plus c1. Now substituting the values of sec phi we have integral equal to log x by a plus root of x square by a square minus 1 plus c1 where c1 is an arbitrary constant. Now this term can be further reduced to obtain the result as log of x plus root of x square minus a square plus c where c is obtained by merging the constant log a with c1. Next we are going to deal up with some numerical problems that would be based on the integrals of a standard forms that we have discussed today. Now in the given problem we are supposed to evaluate the value of integral 1 by 16 x square minus 25 with respect to x. Now this integral is rewritten as 1 by 16 integral of dx by x square minus 5 by 4 square. That means we have converted this given integral into the form of x square minus a square. Now this term can be rewritten as 1 by 16 into 1 by 2 into 5 by 4 into log of x minus 5 by 4 divided by x plus 5 by 4 plus c. This can be rewritten as 1 by 40 into log of 4x minus 5 divided by 4x plus 5 plus c where c is an arbitrary constant or constant of integration. Thus by the use of standard formula of integral 1 by x square minus a square we have evaluated the value of this given integral. Next we are going to evaluate the value of the integral 1 by root of x 4x square minus 9 with respect to x. Now this integral can be rewritten as integral of dx by root of 2x square minus 3 square. Now we can rewrite this integral as 1 by 2 integral of dx divided by root of x square minus 3 by 2 whole square. This gives us a value 1 by 2 log of x plus root of x square minus 9 by 4 plus c which is being obtained by the standard form which we have discussed which was integral of dx divided by root of x square minus a square. In similar manner by the use of standard forms we can evaluate the given integrals in a simpler way. With this we conclude this lecture which was based on standard forms of integrals.